Hi everyone, thanks for joining me here in Armin's craft room. Why would we want to do crafty math? Well, it's good for a few reasons. First of all, crafty math will allow you to know if you're purchasing enough supplies for your needs. Say you need a specific number of cards for a birthday party, a graduation party, uh, maybe your Christmas cards, something along those lines where you need a very specific number. Crafty math will help you determine how many supplies you will need to purchase in order to make that happen. Crafty Math can also tell you how much you can get out of one craft kit. Generally, stores, um, both online and in person, will have some type of list on the package about what comes into um, in the kit so that you can then do some math either in the store or in your home before purchasing. And that will allow you to know if you need to purchase anything extra to go with the kit or if you have enough stuff in your craft room already. Additionally, if you like to sell your products and um, at craft fairs or to friends and family or something along those lines or online, or you just happen to like to know how much your supplies are costing you per card as like a cost per use analysis, then having Crafty Math will tell you exactly how much it costs for your supplies because you can look at what you have paid for the supplies and you can divide it by the yield that you're expected to get. Now, of course, crafty math is an estimate because as we all know, when you're creative and you change things up in the middle, you may not exactly get the number of cards you were expecting. Um, but if it's something that you really have to stick to a tight budget on, or you absolutely have to get a certain number of cards because it's a specific event and theme, and it's a theme you don't wanna have leftovers of, then you would be more conscientious of your crafty math when creating, and you'd probably um, end up with what you were expecting.